Welcome again, everyone. So it's been a minute since we've had a video, partly because uh, my own fault, just lack of picking up the camera, but I finally got the plasma table set up with the new hypertherm that I uh, recently got. So I've been playing around with that and I'm getting pretty spoiled because I'm cutting out all kinds of things that I normally wouldn't do, but because I have the table, it's just, it's just more fun and uh, makes, everything, makes everything look better. So um, also I've been doing other things. We built a reel for Ethan. I'll put a picture here. Um, I plan to make one for this truck as well. So if you're wondering how to do that, and it's it's a pretty budget build, you know, you don't have to have um, a plasma table to do this, but I'm going to use it anyway. But how I did mine, I just cut it. I had a, a circle burner for a torch. Then I just cut out a couple plates, had a piece of pipe and a trailer axle, um, axle hub, and made one pretty cheap for my first reel. And I'll show you that when we get more into it. But if you're interested, I will have a video about that coming up soon, I think. But to get back to this, um, you saw me working on this last, and Ethan showed up, and that's when we started building his reel, but I started working on getting this here configured, and I know you, a lot of guys said you need to go two-door, uh, two-piece door. I'm going to keep it one for now, and I cut this out here, and it works, but there's just too many notches in it. So I went ahead and cut this out on the table just so you know pretty decent cuts here it helps when the materials clean that's the only kind of goofy uh, spot where the lead in and lead out was but basically I'm gonna have this to where when I raise it up well, I already see my first design flaw I gotta take some of that uh, edge off but <clears throat> when I raise it up I want it to catch about where it's at so if you can tell it's just going to latch there and then when I want to close it I pop this up and then it goes down um, this here is just like a secondary like manual engaged latch because if I don't want this thing to stay way out here I can drop it down to this level here and that's how that works so but we're gonna put this in here I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this over some as well just so it's out of the way and I think I've said this before but I'm really trying to get this truck on the road actually as soon as possible because we've got a I've got a job coming up that's um, be for about a month or two and it's right next to my house meaning it's like half the distance I normally drive so I am pumped to get this thing going and get it you know get it working and try it out and I should be able to get everything I need in this toolbox and the other one and I'm gonna put the big things in here like my belving machine and such but this is gonna be I'm gonna take my time figuring it out and laying it out so I get it how I want it. I wanna take, um, I wanna make some drawers in here and stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. So that's why I say we're just gonna get it working and I'll figure that out after the fact. But FYI, this is not my machine. This is a friend of mine's. Um, I just put it on here because it, just to see how it would look and kind of get an idea if I need to put some airbags on here or anything. And I probably will add bags to this eventually, just not at this current uh, current time, something or another. But I also made this on the table. I don't know if you can tell, but I cut this out. But this is my this is my latch for this door. Got a couple tabs here. Can't really see, but basically that's latched there. And I got this here but I need to I need to cover up there's just too many holes here so I'm gonna cover up these couple holes here just so it slides where it only latches and probably this one and this one and but yeah this is pretty pretty cool to me obviously I cut it flat I cut some notches in the here so I could bend it easier and then I tacked them once I got it where I wanted it but that works pretty well um, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add this in here somewhere because it's it's pulled apart now it's pulled apart more than it was so I need to pull that back into where into where it needs to go and it's just gonna be temporary until I figure out what kind of drawers or what I'm gonna put in here as far as to make it to fill up the most space I can if you will take advantage of all I can so I'm just gonna put this in here somewhere um, temporarily just to have support we're gonna be using this here yes welder 65 DS if you miss a video on it, we're going to be eventually giving this thing away, but I'm just kind of putting it through its paces and figuring out, um, you know, what works best and, uh, you know, if it's going to hold up to, I don't do heavy, you know, heavy fabrication, but I do use a plasma, 
plasma cutter quite a bit. So we're putting it through its paces, but keep an eye out because I am going to be giving this away. It's going to be just how you see it here, abused, not abused, but you know, shop life. And yeah, but hopefully you guys get a plasma cutter for, you know, to help you along your, your travels, your journeys, your projects, whatever you call it. So let's get to work and we will see how much we get accomplished and go from there. That's all I can say. Pretty happy with everything, how it's um, lined up and everything so far, except for this door just really doesn't match. Um, what's what's happening is that this is just a hair too long for where the brake was, and I suppose I could modify a little bit. Anyhow, I'm not worried about it so much right now. I'll re rework the door later. Um, but as far as in here goes, I'm missing some hardware, but this is... This is looking pretty good. This is pretty secure. Just something basic, simple. Um, this belt machine always stays four inch. Like I don't use it for anything else. So a piece of four inch and we've got the clamp down here. It doesn't go anywhere. This is pretty secure. Just one bungee going across it. Um, I'll probably wind up like when I'm at the end of the day, when I'm done, more than likely I'll just pull the torch out. That way it looks, uh, it'll be easier to get in and out. And the most common sizes are six and eight for me, more more so six inch. So I'm actually doing some eight inch right now, but that'll be for like another week and then we'll be on, um, I'll be on six inch. So more or less, this will stay six inch. It'll have a little, um, a little longer dogs on it, but not a big deal. It should be still pretty easy to get in and out of there. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it is as far as the setup and like I'm pretty confident I could put all my tools in here right now and 
These, these are like the two main bulky items that I just don't really have a place for. Everything else can go in these because um, I used to work this bed so I, I kind of know what I, you know, what room I need more or less. And then as far as my hood and gloves and everything, they'll just be thrown in here temporarily. Um, possibly back here. I don't know how much room is behind the... There's a good amount of room back here as far as this goes. So I'll probably keep, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff behind the seat. Uh, miscellaneous stuff that I want to keep dry and then at some point I'm going to change out this back glass for a, a I have another truck another cab with the standard glass I want to see if I can get some guy to come out and put that in this truck and then we got to get some new uh, some new gaskets let me point where I'm going here get some new gaskets for here just miscellaneous stuff for the cab but I'm I'm not worried about it. I just want to get to uh, get to work in it, and I can worry about f fixing it up and making it nice later. Um, <clears throat> so, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to run real quick and grab some more, um, get these finished up, and then I think we're going to go ahead and work on the bumper to get that done because this is the other um, sore thumb to look at, kind of. My main thing is I want to get a couple of tabs. Um, welded on the back side here so that the um, inner fender has something to bolt to I can I can clip it to more or less that way it'll keep it keep it true so that's the main goal I am going to cut this down just a little bit probably probably two and a half ish inches something like that and then I'm going to cut here I think I mentioned this before but I'm going to cut right at the top of this bumper where the channel is behind here and then we're going to take this we're going to score it across here with a plasma cutter and then just angle it back whatever looks good trim this up i got a brace in here that we'll have to cut out and redo but i'm going to go to town real quick and then i'm going to spin this truck around and get to work on the bumper i've got oh yeah the other thing i need to work on is the ac system i've got um i've got everything new I've got a way to charge the system, but the compressor doesn't kick on. A week from now, I'm more than likely uh, going to be swapping trucks because, like I said before, my job is somewhat close to where I live, and it's going to be a good time to see if this thing, how this thing works, and how it's going to, you know, pan out as far as uh, usability, reliability of this truck, and whatnot. Um, something else I got to, I got to remember to do is the uh, pinion seals leaking. I got to do that too, so. I'll be back shortly, probably working on the bumper. It's almost go time for this here uh, old beat up truck. Got the bumper how I want it, more or less. I got the I got the shape I want. 
um, if you want to call it that. It's just, it's not too much. It's not too little. Um, pretty happy with it. Not quite a 45 degree angle here in the bottom. Um, these here kickouts are where the bumper obviously was originally mounted. And I'm going to save those and weld some clevises or weld some D ring. I don't know what you call it. But I'm going to put some uh, brackets here and then put some clevises on that, uh, as some of you guys suggested. But it's got the shape I want. I'm pretty happy with it for now. It's, it's kind of hard to tell because not great light right now. But I like it a whole lot more. And my wife gave me a hand. She washed, excuse me, she washed the outside. And kind of cleaned up the inside for me. Cleaned the dash up all nice and neat for me. Uh, so we're about ready to make this thing happen. The last couple things that I want to do, well, what I need to do first, I have some over the spring, like helper, um, like add a leaf, but they're the over kind, you call it. I want to put those on here because the truck is kind of squatting just a, ever so slightly right now. And I don't really care about that, but I do want the truck to sit level. Um, I have some air springs that I was going to put on here, but I just, I just don't have the, the time. I just want to start working it. I can add those later. Um, you know, I still got more weight to put on here, but I think adding the helper springs and everything, it should work out okay. Um, the other thing that I really would like to get working as soon as possible is the AC. The blower motor works, as far as I can tell, the actuators for the blend door work, uh, more or less. I just can't get the AC compressor to kick on when I turn the knob. The relay works, I jump the relay, it turns the clutch on. Um, <clears throat> there's just some sort of disconnect. I've checked all the fuses I know, know to check. Um, I'm just not a electrical wizard that I want to be, so therefore I have no idea. So if anybody has an idea, if you could let me know, that would be uh, that'd be a great help if I could get that going sooner or later. I was thinking about hardwiring it, but I don't know how to. I don't want to hardwire the um, straight to the clutch or straight to the compressor, but I don't know how, how, what the wiring schematic is. If I were to, you know, run a positive to the transducer, or I don't know if one's a positive disconnect and a negative disconnect. I don't know how those work. So, like I said, I just don't know, but my hunch is it's either in this controller or possibly in the computer, and I do have a practically brand new computer in a parts truck. Um, not sure if it's the same. I think it should be the same one, but we'll give that a try, see if that works. And I do have another one of these that I know works that's out of my other truck, so maybe we can try that and see if that works. But uh, other than that, I'm blind. I, I, don't know, I don't know where else to turn other than to try to trace wires and... But I'm not a I'm not a genius like that. So if anybody can lend a hand and give me some possible problems or causes or what have you, that'd be much appreciated. And moving on, I did uh, take you all suggestions and put some seam sealer in here, so I didn't have to weld everything. And yes, it's messy, but I don't care. I just went to town with it. Um, but yeah, I started to get everything. This is stuff that was left over when I had in the bed originally. Just a bunch of couplings for three quarter um, all kinds of miscellaneous stuff but I got all the boxes um, swept out cleaned up mostly I've already got some extra leads in here so that way if this truck breaks down the first day I use it I can just uh, throw the weld machine back on the other truck and go back to work so but yeah everything's cleaned up I don't know how I'm gonna run my um, my extension cord and stuff yet because I originally had them in here I had my remote or my remote over here, my extension cord here, but I would really like to maybe figure something else out. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of reels, but I do plan on building a reel, um, possibly for my extension cord, just because I don't use it all the time because I have the remote, and yeah, like I said, I went crazy with this, but all in all, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with how things are going here. Um, I think I showed this, but if I didn't, real quick, my big bell machine goes up here, the small one goes down here. I plan on uh, leaving this open for a bottle eventually. Um, throw in from one side or the other, I'm not sure yet, but that's the tentative plan. And I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, customize it as I see fit. Meaning, if I want to put something here, I, I, I'm leaving it raw so that way I can modify it. It's, that way it's not painted, it's not set in stone as far as the design or anything and i'll have plenty of room in here there is actually more room behind the seats than i thought there was in this truck so 
I should be able to put a lot of my uh, a lot of my knickknacks and patty wax and give the dog a bones and whatnot. Keep my welding hood up here. Keep it out of the rain, moisture, because <laughs> these boxes are not going to be super dry as I'd like them to be. Uh, I'm gonna have to work on the fitment a little bit more or less is what I'm what I'm getting at. But all in all, I'm happy. And oh, the next video I am gonna be building some sort of I. I'm probably going to build a reel. I'm, I'm going to build a reel to go in here so that way I can cover this up. I actually, this used to be a stack a long time ago on my other truck. I had a stack that came out of here and it looks pretty funny because it still has stock wheels on the single, single, single wheel, single rear wheel. And maybe I'll throw a picture in here, but it's really goofy looking. So thank you all for watching. And like I said, the next video will probably be making a reel, a new reel to go with this truck. And if you're interested, stay tuned. Other than that, I appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully in the next video, after the next video, this will be uh, swapping trucks and this thing will be going down the road. So stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.